Welcome back to the ICF Mountain House build. It is day three of framing. Yesterday we finished the second floor subfloor. Today we're starting on the second floor exterior walls, which will all be two by six framed. They've got uh, most of this side done, most of that side done. We're just working out the window uh, openings for here, and they'll probably start framing up this gable end. They're uh, making a lot of progress. It's super windy today and a little bit chilly, but we're uh, just gonna try and knock this out as best we can and uh, see what we get done. So let's get to work. This is a five foot knee wall. Then we'll be a gable end here. Five foot knee wall here. We have stairs, at least those stairs, temporarily. Uh, so let's go up and see the progress we're making on the second floor. Man, we're getting a lot of wind today. Bathroom, dormer built. Day three of framing, the first day they did the interior walls on the first floor. Second day they framed the second floor, subfloor. Today's day three. We're doing the upstairs exterior walls, gable ends, dormers. Uh, it's a little bit more complicated up there, so that's gonna take a little bit longer, but they've been here a couple hours and they've got quite a bit done, so let's go see what's up. Thank <laughs> you. 
Coffee breaks over. Um, real, quick, real quick tour up here. This is the second floor. They just stood up this uh, dormer wall, which will be sort of a loft office. This will all be open. Look at the rail there. There'll be a bathroom right here. So this will be a bathroom. And then two bedrooms right here. So there'll be a bedroom right here and a bedroom right here. And these are five foot knee walls, which will be the back of a closet, which comes out about three feet. And then the pitch of the roof, you know, goes eight, twelve up. So that's how we use it, all the space. And actually, there will be a closet here and a little nook here with like a little seating area. And then the other bedroom, closet, and then a little desk area. So like, it'll be like this deep, put a desk in here, lights over it, a little cubby, pretty cool. But it's pretty simple up here. Kids, will, kids' bedrooms, guest bedrooms, whatever. Office, view. So the basement's 1,200 square feet, first floor is 1,200 square feet. Up here is about, I don't know, 800 and change. Um, it's a real small footprint, but it goes up tall, so that's pretty cool. The higher we go, the better the view. That was kind of the thought. I hear the lumber truck coming. They're bringing rafters, our LDL ridge beam, and roof sheathing. So let's go get that off later. See, you got 84 right there. That's your height. Right there, where that is. Yeah. That's like that's the height you need for. Her. But you can cut the pocket door down. For pocket door opening for the rough frame, you need to add four inches and four half. Um, just taking it really neat. Not that we will wait to get the roof on, right. but yeah, no, that's good. Yeah. When you run this, leave enough to drop that. Framing up second floor interior walls.
30. Well, another good day of framing. This is the end of day three of framing, and we got the outside walls finished, half of the one gable end finished. Both of the bedrooms are framed up. Uh, tomorrow we'll finish framing up the bathroom and finish the, we got to stick build that gable end uh, that's overlooking the mountain because it's got all kinds of fancy windows in it for the view, but let me show you here. So, this side will have to be built in place. So we're going to uh, get that LVL up here tomorrow, start setting rafters. And then I think he's going to try and build that gable end underneath the roof. He knows what he's doing. Well, I'm just glad I got somebody that can do it. Tomorrow, uh, it's supposed to rain a little bit, but I think we'll be able to get quite a bit done. And next day, is supposed to be decent, so we might get lucky. These guys are fast. We might be able to get the rafters on and sheeting on, uh, get this thing on the roof by the end of this week. That would be amazing. Fingers crossed. Uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Thank you.